the costs in millions of dollars of connecting any two of the four cities A, B, C and D by gas pipes are given in their following adjacency matrix. So here I'd start by actually putting the A, B, C, D on there since when you're given a problem like this we're assuming here that those are in order. So that's what we're looking at. And we're wanting to draw a diagram of the complete graph firstly. Now by a complete graph we're wanting a graph that shows the connections between all of those cities and having a look at this you can see first of all that the cost of joining city A to city B is two million dollars. So we draw a line from A to B and that has a two. We're then told that the cost of joining city A to city C is one million dollars so I'd include a city C and that link will be 1. The cost of joining city A to city D is $4 million so that link will have a 4. And looking on the next line we've already connected cities B and A but the cost of joining city B to city C is $4 million. The cost of joining city B to city D is $5 million so that link would have a 5 and lastly the cost of joining city D to city C is $3 million so that link will have a 3. So that is our first part, that is our complete graph showing how the cities are connected and the relevant costs. Now the next part we're asked to find a minimal spanning tree. So while the complete graph simply shows how all the cities connect to each other and cost, the minimal spanning tree connects the cities so that each of the cities is connected to at least one other city and we have minimum cost. And to do this we use the economy rule which is we first start by looking at the cheapest link and in this case the cheapest link is from city A to city C. So I'd start by drawing those together with the link which there was a cost of one million dollars. Then we look for the cheapest link that joins one of the cities we've already used, so city A or C, to one of the other cities that we have not yet connected to. And the cheapest such link is the link from A to B in this case, since that is a cost of two million dollars. We then look for the next cheapest link to any city that we have not yet used, which must be city D in this case. So we look at the cheapest link connecting city D to any one of the three cities here. And the cheapest link there is the link from D to C with a cost of three million dollars. And so this then would be our minimal spanning tree. Now the next part is we're asked then to find the minimum cost of joining the cities and so the minimum cost is basically going to be adding up the costs we've got and using the appropriate units. So here it's going to be in terms of first of all it's going to be the 3 plus 1 plus 2 is 6 but what units was the cost measured in here? In this particular problem the cost was actually measured we're told in millions of dollars and so therefore the minimum cost in this case is actually going to be six million dollars in this case.